I had another prophetic word all ready to go, but today morning I had to change it because God spoke to me very clearly with this word. You know, very clearly because both our children, you know, were at the East Coast at that time and the heavily hit area is the South East was the one that was so hit and I was calling her, are you okay in Virginia? Hannah was in Virginia at that time. Are you okay? She said, I'm fine. I'm fine. Only the Lord can protect. Unless the Lord protects. That's what the Bible says. So how to position yourself in that place of protection? Let's go read the word of God. Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4 and 6b. It's a big passage. You can read it later. But for now, let's just read together Ezekiel 9 and verse 4. And I want the children also to look up and read the word. Good? Ready? Read. And the Lord said to him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and put a mark on the foreheads of the men who sigh and cry over all the abominations that are done within it. Now here is the good news. Do not come near anyone on whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary. So they began with the elders who were before the temple. You know, this angel was much like how that angel would come in the days when the children of Israel had to put that blood on their doorpost. You know, many lost the people in the homes where the blood was not there. But today God is giving us a prophetic word. Here it is not the household saints of God, it is that individual, say individual. It's that individual, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? And you who are watching us online, what are you going to do? Are you going to look at the abominations that are done within your city? I was just looking at the staggering numbers of the illegal immigrants that have come. The terrorists, the wicked people, I mean, the human traffickers. You know, things are like, is it happening in America like this? When you look at all these abominations that are done within your nation, within America, within your counties, within your cities, within your states, if you are going to sigh and petition before the Lord, God is saying, that he will put a mark on your forehead. He will put a mark on your forehead and you will be protected. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This verse only encourages me to dig deeper in intercession, to pray more in intercession.